Hey, what's up? Welcome to Derek's AZRC. I'm Derek, and it's hot outside. I'm over here with my homeboy, Abel T. We're about to put together the Tracks and Slash Unassembled Kit. We're over here in Deep Mesa by the Superstition Mountains, and I just saw the, the Lost Dutchman. Hey, I know that guy. Hey everybody, I just wanted to take a quick moment to draw a quick little picture as to what we are doing in this video. I didn't have the time, We I ran out there and there was the hustle and bustle of getting set up, getting the studio set up, and getting this truck built. I mean, this truck took us a long time. You'll see later on in the video, it took us nine hours. Anyways, I was completely and am completely honored to be a part of this build for little Abel. This is, he's eight years old. Comments are turned off for this video and this is his very first hobby grade build. Now this is something I feel very, this is something very important. <laughs> I don't mean to say it's like life changing, but yeah, it is. And I wanted to make it special for him and his grandparents made it this opportunity happened and they you know they allowed for him to call me and see you know he asked me if I could come build it with him and it that touched just my heart you know this is this is what I'm doing right now and this definitely gave me run for my money too I was it was a long build and even at the end the electronics gave me a hard time the tracks electronics gave me a hard time but anyways enough with the whole mumbo-jumbo and everything it was I've had, uh, in, in my life, I've had the pleasure of having some older brothers, you know, not, not biologically, but, um, you know, individuals that looked out for me. And I feel that, in a sense, that that's something that I have to give back to the world. And that that's the one thing that I have to offer out there and if I if there's anything that I could give back at this moment and this time that is definitely something that was given to me in this video that day and every day that I go about I just hope that you guys would sit back and enjoy the fun that we had and enjoy the music that goes along with it we had a blast that Abel you are so smart he, and he is, is, blows me away. He's as sharp as a tack, and it's just amazing. But anyways, I'll quit making this about me. This video is about you, Abel. I hope you enjoy your video. All right, we're back in action. And then, see, yeah, like, there's all a delay on the camera. Mm -hmm. All right, so everybody, we're back here in the shop. Uh, we just got done doing that little shoot. Um, here with Abel. Are you excited? Yeah. You wave, are you waving to that camera or are you waving to this one right here, right? Uh, I, I don't know. There we go, wave to this one. Do you want me, you want me to put Scooby-Doo over here? Sure. So you can see the camera? Yeah. Right here, just just remember, just think of it as a little buddy, right? Mm. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose any footage here. I do not wanna lose footage, you can't recreate stuff, right? So anyway, so me and Abel are going to, yeah, yeah it's good, so if you see the little, the little record square right there, that tells you that it's doing good, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so. So um, I'm not gonna do time lapse. Um, and me and Abel are going to put this stuff together as it goes. Um, I will move stuff. I'll move the video forward and fast um, and whatnot. But um, I've watched the tutorial on putting this truck together. So me and him are going to put together this uh, the rear differential. And this is cool because I get I get to teach you um, what this is about right now. Okay. So this is the main spur gear in the back of the truck right here. So. It even says differential bag. That's pretty nice, right? So we're gonna go ahead and slice this open. All right. I'm close that up again. All right, and then we'll go ahead and grab one of these out. Okay. And then we'll grab one of these towels ready to go. And. All right, we're gonna keep this over here by you because we're gonna have you doing the work. Me? Yeah. All the work? Yeah. I'll help. I'm helping, we'll see. 
So see if these main three tools right here that I brought for you today will be the ones that we need. So that is going to be the main inside cut. These little guys right here, these three, these four, I say three, but they're four. four. They, um, they are going to, do you see how this, they, they do a real good job of drawing the picture right here. These are those guys right here, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then there's those. Those are um, open that one up too. We'll open this one up too. We're going to use as much of this grease as we want, maybe. All right. We're going to dump these into the magnetic tray. So these shafts, there's four of the same length and there's one that's of the middle length right here. All right. So um, the first thing they say is this guy right here. There's two of these, they're just the same, right? Yeah. And then, so look, this is really cool. In one of my last videos, see this right here? What does that say? Premier Planetary gear? Planetary, yep. Planetary. So that's what this is. This is called a planetary gear. Pretty cool name, huh? Mm -hmm. I, in my last video, I couldn't remember what it was called. In one of my last videos, and I was calling that. That is the phantom, um, <laughs> the phantom, <laughs> the, phantom the phantom vacuum. The vacuum of space is called for the planetary gears. So, um, in my last video, I was calling them uh, interplanetary or intergalactic gears. So they're gonna go, this is, um, this main gear right here. That's, so what is this called? This is called the, the sun. They're calling it the sun gear. The sun. How neat. So it's going to have the this very first, it, it, you see right here how it's a 2.5 by 8 millimeter, 8.8 .8 millimeter. All right. So you can see right here that that is the shorter, the shorter one right here, right? So you can even take this and put it right there on it, okay? See? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna take this, you're gonna take that. So small. Uh huh. And a good idea is to do that over the table. Because yeah, if you drop it down there, we're never gonna see it again. It'll be lost in the the, um, the black hole. <laughs> okay, so then yeah, so you can set it down right there on that. Okay, all right, so and then it's gonna go down inside this like that. Do you see how this goes down in the, there? Yeah. And you can probably just like lift it up kind of. Oh, yep, that's fine right now. <laughs> This is the part that I edited out the video. Oh, I found you it. You found it? Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right. Don't worry. This is the thing that plagues everyone that assembles something. All right. All right. So you can just what you can do is you can just keep it on its side like this. Okay. There you go. Just like that. All right. Now, see all these guys? Yeah. All four of these. I'm gonna get all four of these put inside, inside them. Yeah, except for if these fall and you can't find them, then you don't have a moving vehicle. Yep. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, now we're going to put those. I'll hold this like this. Yeah. All right, and you see the um. The rolls. Yeah. Rolls. So um. What's cool is you have really small hands. You're gonna be able to fit those inside there. It's, it's gonna be down deep down inside there. See right here? If you look right here, see how that one is on the, uh, the upper lip and it's deep down inside there? And then there one goes down inside there. It's gonna be over here. 
way back over there in the corner. And this is something we definitely don't want to use the Bosch on. Okay. The Bosch. Yeah, I won't use the Bosch for it. And then also because I want to be able to catch her what we're talking about. It's more valuable. My time with you is way more valuable than just time lapsing. Wow, look at that. Hold that. You just built your very first differential label. That looks like a time So here, it's like, what it does is this. One spins one way, one spins the other. Do you see that? Yeah. It's kind of like a tire. Like, you know those things that hook together? Like those holes? Yeah. And then they hook onto the tire and then like... Yay! Yeah. All right, so on to the shocks. I can okay. see. You see that bubble? Push it down. Okay, so we just worked the bubbles out. We got to do this a bunch of times. It's it complicated. Yeah. I bet it is. It's. It, I'm impatient, and so it's. Yep. It's patient time. Yeah. Everybody, take your patience. Everybody, take your patience. Take your patience. <laughs> yeah, pa take, 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 take your, your patience. patience. <laughs> All right, go ahead and squeeze a little more in there. That's good. A little more. Shots are easy, but with no, not with yeah, that was cool. your nails. Yeah, that was cool. It was a good job. But the squirting thing, not yeah. with my nails, not with my fingernails, because that hurts. This is not so difficult after all. There you go. Wow, those are soft shots, man. Very nice. Pretty nice. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. We'll set those aside with, the, with that. All right, here we go. All right, next step. What do we do? It's got plenty of. Uh, <laughs> you, know, you just, just do this. Say? Let's do this when you don't know what to do. Okay? It's got. <laughs> All right. We are on to uh, the transmission on the case. This? So that is. Scissors will be way better. Yeah, do you want to use scissors? Yeah. Alright. Can I do them? Yep. These are scissors. <sighs> Done. Go ahead and put that in here. All this? Guess what that is? What? Uh. That is the slipper clutch. The slipper nice clutch. catch, by the way. We're about to put together a clutch. A clutch? I don't this know. This is exciting, dude. I don't know what a clutch, but I'll, I'll find out. This is really cool, dude. For real. I mean, for real, man. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah, for real, for real. <sighs> Wait, where do we put the stuff that don't stick on it? I'll just put it in there, too. Isn't it cool how it doesn't stick? Because it's non-ferrous, all right? Non-ferrous? It's aluminum. It doesn't, it's non-magnetic. All right, so these are, this is your transmission. All right. Is that the engine? So, it, well, no, it's the, where the engine, the, the motor will mount to this. A mount? Yeah, it will mount to it. Okay, so, as we look at this, we'll see that this is right there. Right? Yeah, That's that guy right there, right? So, we're going to pop a bearing in right here and a bearing in right there. So go ahead and grab two of those bearings. Doesn't matter which one. Nope. Just 
Mm -hmm. Well, it does matter. It does have you, have to, yeah, you have to get it in there just right. You got to get it in there square. Get the big ones. I'll get the yeah, ones. Yeah, it's shoved in. Here. Here, don't press too hard. You just got to get it in square, that's all. See right here how it's, see this right here? Yeah. That's what it's expressing and why you're having a hard time. See how if it goes in an angle, it says don't get it in an angle and don't, don't not get it in all the way. It wants to get in all the way. So, and go in all the way. There you go. Okay, so, um, I changed the camera view so that you guys can be with us more on what we're doing, we're about to do on this clutch because I realized that um, you guys are just staring at us from afar doing that, which is cool though because then they got good footage. We're, we're about to put this clutch together and um, I want you guys to be there for with us. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. I'm ready. We got a little, a little sugar snack going on. Mm-hmm. All right. So, we put that little shaft in right there. All right. So the next step is going to be the slipper pressure plate. That looks like it's going to be this guy right here. Okay. Now it'll it'll go on there, and if you look, if you look on the back side of this, you see how that little notch will go into where that. Oh yep. yeah, I see it. There you go. You see, it just latches into place. All right. And then the next is going to be the slipper disc, the slipper steel disc. All right. Yeah, same. You're good. Yep, that's it. I see it. So fun. Cool. It's gonna be this one right here. Do the next one. Yeah. You're gonna go on and make that. There's like little. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now this next one is a part of the slipper hub and a slipper friction pad. Okay. Ooh, right there. So what we're gonna do is I saw this done. All right. So you're gonna set these. You're gonna set these down, face down, all right? So there is, um, these are just like a real like brake pad on a vehicle, made of the same stuff. Oh, like, um. Exactly. Like, from, like that? Mm hmm Like the go -kart? Yeah. So, see these little holes right there? Yeah. If you want, you can go ahead and you can, um, Set those up right there and kind of press them on it a little bit. You don't have to press them all the way down, but just get them to where they're kind of set on it. You know, they're going to be kind of set on there a little bit. Move to the next one a little bit. There you go. Move to the next one. Don't worry, we'll push them on harder in a minute. All right. So, that's a little bit tricky, because it's... I just do it tight right now. Well, what we'll do is we'll flip it over in a second, and we'll push it down real tight. Oh. So, it's going to get snug. All right, so then we'll flip it over. Like that, and then, there you go, exactly. You think that's on there good? Yep, wait, no, not this one. All right. Is it good? Oh. Uh oh. That's the vacuum again. The vacuum is all done. It's my feet again. It's my feet. It's not me, I promise. All right, so now this is going to go on there. Yep. Like that? Yep. Just like that. Now that one bearing over here. Huh? This one with the bearing. There you go. I'm going to slide that on there. Man, look at that. You, you go. All right. So then we're going to put the spring on. Oh, this little spring? Yeah. What that does is that's going to give it its pressure against the plate. And you see that one, that one, um, the little, it, the, so it's just this nut. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, is this, is this? Oh, this? Yeah. Where is it? Oh, right here. Um, Where? right there. Yep. Like this? Yeah, let me text back this person real quick. You 
people. That's just one person. So he's just letting me know that he's back from somewhere. He's waiting for us to call him. Who is it? Boss? Um, no, it's uh, uh, somebody that I know from the um, the AZRC Bashers. Here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Remember, don't screw it down all the way until you get all three of them in in their hole, okay? Well, I can't really see if I'm screwing all the way. <laughs> Can I check it out, Tim? I need to put my glasses on. Wait, can you just do this? It's pretty difficult. Yeah, I'll check it out. Because I got a whole, yeah. like, two, <laughs> yeah, whole you're, you're close. All right. You know you're past your lunch time. If you need to go get some lunch. Here's your car. No. Do you, do you need to go eat some lunch real quick? No, my... That's my bathroom time. <laughs> Did you go to your bathroom time? Yes, my bathroom time. Go go eat your bathroom. Go get go get some lunch real quick. Oh yeah, lunch. Like peanut and then. <laughs> yeah. Let me get the other one real quick, and then I'll have you wash it. Wash it. Boss. 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 Would you actually sound like a boss? Bosh. Bosh. I thought I said boss, but it says Bosh. Bosh. Alright, alright, here we go. You see him back there? Yeah, I'm gonna do or this. Or do you need a light? First. Okay, cool. We can just do it like that. Just remember when he gets close to the bottom, stop and then we'll hand tighten it the rest of the way. And. Good job, like that, yeah, perfect. You see the other one? Perfect. Are you having a good day? Yeah. With me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to Are die? you why are you worried why are you worried that I'm not having a good day? Oh. Because I'm weird. No. Don't, don't be. Tell me. Don't be getting stressed on me, little buddy. I need to be stressed. I'm just happy. Let's see, so let's see how how are we doing on time? It's, it's two thirty. We started at eleven. It's so eleven. We got eleven, twelve. One, two, three hours. two. Yeah, we're at three hours. We're close. So maybe like four or five hours. <laughs> but I think you need to go. I think you need to go eat some food. Yeah. You probably just put them on the end of the screw. There you go. Good job. Good job. You're doing good, man. Hmm? Remembering to not run it too hard at the end. Wonder if it's a few more hours. Looking good, man. Don't even worry about the end. You're doing really good at remembering not to over tighten them. Abel, that is a, that is a very good skill. Yeah. To remember to not over tighten a screw. Believe me, that's amazing skill. Beautiful. Oh, that feels warm. Yeah, it gets warm from friction. From friction? What is it? Yeah. Friction is because the two materials are rubbing against each other. Oh. And so they, um. Oh, like, like you just get a piece of rubber. Exactly, and like... yeah. Anything, yeah. Like that. Yeah, I see. I see. And then this one goes right here. Um, Let's 
Every time we get the Bosch, we gotta say the, the Bosch. Bosch. <laughs> you ready, the Bosch? Yeah, I'm right. the Bosch boy. You're the Bosch boy. The Bosch. <laughs> I told you, every time we get it, we have to say the Bosch. Alright, here we go. I mean, as when I was a kid your age, when I got a little bit older, I was kind of I mean to on other kids, and I really wish I could have taken that back. You know what I mean? You were mean it's, on other kids? I wasn't mean all the time, but I was, I wish that I could have been a better kid. You know what I mean? I did have um, a, a good influence, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I'm thankful, I'm thankful of on that. On the back is hot. Oh, on the, Check on on the, the camera? Back. On the back. Yeah, it's fine. It's still fine. It's okay. But it's hot for me. It's getting, it's, it's okay. Don't worry. So basically, um, what I'm wondering is, uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is that the older you get, when you get into um, middle school and high whatnot, school. and high school, well, Bree's in um, high school. The, 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 you're gonna find out that you're gonna, um, you might start to like want to be with the cool kids or this and that. Um, you just gotta remember um, that it doesn't matter what age you are, and it doesn't matter. Um, like who's when, cooler? Yeah. Okay, yeah. it doesn't. I know. I don't. I don't care about. Yeah, that. because because in the end, everybody you encounter has something to offer. It doesn't matter how much money they have. It doesn't matter what what they have to offer on the, with material possessions or if they're better in sports. It really doesn't matter. All right, don't do that yet. Oh. We got to do these things first. So, and then we also got to find, remember those, those special washers that are one size different? So, um, well, what I'm saying is, is, you know, just don't, don't forget, you know, to, like, um. Like, don't, don't, like, just don't leave people on the other side and yeah. just don't let them, like, don't let them, like, just don't let them go, like. Exactly. Yeah. Don't you know? And, and always remember that if somebody's being like quiet or to themselves, they might they might need you to love them. You know what I mean? Mhm. Mm and and like like people how like how people need friends. And yeah, exactly. And you know, and at, at the and same time, we don't want to be like we don't want to think like oh I feel so sorry for them. We don't want to be like that either. We just want to make sure that we can be our best and be the most we can to offer to them. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's the best thing we can do in life. They will. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the only thing that's, I mean, I, I'm telling you right now from, from where I sit now in life, that is the only thing worth anything to me in life. So like this, this means right, a lot to you? Yeah. Yeah. All of this, this is, this is what means so much to me now. So those people out there yeah. in me mean yeah. a lot to you? Yes. It's, it's really, it's it's what, it's the only thing that means anything to me. It doesn't, there's some. Um, like your whole entire family? Yeah, yeah, family and friends and, and extending that group. Always making a chance. Always trying to do something that's right. And trying to make it, you know, we don't want to like do too much and try too hard to do what's right because sometimes that can get in the way too but when um learning to do what's right on a more regular basis is is something that takes time and so you know we kind of want to try to stay in that state of mind you know what i mean we don't what, one of our biggest distractions is ourself um when we want to you know like and like like say for instance um serving ourselves yeah like you know what i mean like, yeah like serving other people that like our family to you like that means like okay so okay so say if like a mom is getting you food or something and then they serve it to you and then and then you say in your head that means a lot to me yeah, or you just say it out loud. That means a lot to me. 
Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Family means a lot, 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 lot to you. Like a billion times, like infinity times a lot to you. Right on. What? Are you crying? No, I'm not crying. I swear, dude. It sounds like I'm not crying. crying. I swear. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get a chair. I'm gonna get a chair. After this, you really need to put this in the freezer for a while. Yeah. Um. So I run into some electronic issues. Um, channel one and channel two are mixed. Um, forgive me for not knowing what the heck's going on. Um, it's driving me nuts. Um, but we're getting the tires on. I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff going on for him. Other things. And everything else can just stay up here. Cause yeah. Everything. Cool, yep, cool. Yep. I don't use those pegs very much. I don't watch the TV out here. Legit. All right. Oh, BF Goodrich tires. Do the tire sniff. There you go. Yeah. Are you gonna keep that for that? Did you already show grandma? No. Here. <laughs> He's bummed out because he can't drive his car right now. It'll be okay, buddy. All right. So, Abel, I want, to show, I want you to see something, all right? Okay. So, see your truck, right? Yeah. All right, you see your truck. Yeah. Oops, that was your this right here. Oh, I could, but I'm not going to, because this is my present for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> but I want you to see something. That's exactly the same. Yeah. Wow. It's the same truck. The same? Yeah. The frame's a little bit different right here, but it's the same truck. It's just totally slammed down and brushless. So we've got like cousins or brothers or something like that. You know what I mean? I like these tires on the back. <laughs> that one's a little bit more beefed up, that's all. That looks pretty cool. So anyway, so I got you. I got you. Here, let me go ahead and plug this in. I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna let you dry this out front here shortly but here so this is for your rc car stuff all right oh, I, don't, I don't know if this is too big that's fine yeah. and then um and i got you oh look you got a little magnetic tray yeah so you got your own magnetic trays look all right. at that you know loose and then, stuff and some some double-sided tape oh my goodness all right Jeez. that's really important yeah. Double-sided tape is, yeah. And a, and a hot glue gun. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering <laughs> which I have one of those. Yeah. All right, and then so the other thing we need to do is this. So. You're, I'm going to cut your box up. Oh, okay. If that's all right. Yep, that's fine. I'll it too. The picture? Yeah, I guess. A B L E. No, A B E L. Yeah, A B E L. Okay. All right. So. 
Here, hold on a second. Thank you. Yeah, just a second. All right. Who's Anvil? I'm uh -huh. here. What's up, Ivan? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Good, good, man. We spent nine hours on this truck, and then I didn't even get it running at the end of the day because some tracks is kind of programming stuff. But I got, oh, I got little Abel here though. I got his, I got his, I got a little picture made out for him. His trucks and sampled and stuff. And I was wondering if we could induct them into the AZRC Bastards. What do you think? Man, that's he's it. Now? Yeah, he's he's sitting here right now. We're on camera and everything, man. All right, hey, well, how you doing, buddy? This is Ivan from AZRC. Hi. Hey, but how you doing? Listen, we have a great group, a good RC group. It's called AZRC Bashers. We have 2,800 members all over Arizona. It's kind of like an RC fan. I spoke to my sponsor, Brad Lee of Awesome Hobby down there, and we would like you to become a member of AZRC Bashers. What do you think? <laughs> Are you nervous? You better say yeah, yeah. little buddy. Come on. Yeah. 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 We have bashes. are going to start in October. It's a big family event. We have cars and competitions and a big playground. Tons of kids come. You'll have a blast. How about it? Huh? Yeah, he's yeah. nervous as heck. <laughs> you don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> Right on. Thank you, Ivan. I love you, man. Thank you so much for making this possible. Yeah. Yeah. Send it. Thank you, Ivan. All right. I love you, bro. All right. That was cool. So right here. All right. So check it out. It's there. Here we go. There you go, you're fishing in the clouds, dude. Cool! It's cool, cool. Alright, there you go, man. Alright, look at that. Uh. Yes! <laughs> That's great. Get Derek in there, too. Yep. Oh, cool. <laughs> What a day! Yes, that's awesome! Thank you! Yeah! Wow, you guys! Hold the button down. Hold the button down. And then let go of the red button. You got it. You're figuring it out, aren't you? He's a smart cookie. <laughs> I do this. <laughs> Hey, uh, there's a fly in my eye. Doesn't count for letting the truck come in. <laughs> come on over. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta like endure the fly in your eye, okay? Your best area to learn when you get once your truck gets running is gonna be in open parts, okay? Nowhere, nowhere near curbs or poles or trees. Nice save. No, my sister bought it for me for my birthday. What do you think? It's cool, huh? It's pretty Yeah, it is. Super drift. It's pretty hard. Alright, I want to get one last drag out of you at least. Bring it back to us. Back it up. Back it up.
So I can let your, your grandma take you home. You got school tomorrow? Yeah. All right. All right. Here, you want me to flip it around for you? All right. All right. Give it a little gas. All right, there you go. That straightens it up. Hold the red button down. You don't even have to pull the trigger down, you know what I mean? But you don't have to do anything with that. Hold the red button down. You get it eventually. Right on, Abel.